Hi Design Files members, um, today I'm going to show you how to do the number with the, uh, the text in the shape of a number that I showed you um, on the page. So what I've done first of all is I've typed out my number 5, um, I've used Arial and I've made it bold and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that into a compound path because this won't work if you don't do that first and then I'm just going to make it nice and big. What I will say at this point is if you're doing a number like a 6 or a 9 that isn't one straight path in that it has these centre pieces, what I would do is before you start to type, release the compound path and just separate the outline from the inside parts. Um, that's because when you type in, it will just randomly start typing around the inside if you don't do that. So what I do is I take those parts away, and once I've done my outside text, I then go back to those and do a little ring of text for each of those. So same with the number 9, uh, same with the number 6, and you know, depending on what font you're using, you might have to do the same with something like a number 4. Um, so what I'm going to do here is get rid of all this. I'm going to use my number 5 um, because my little boy Dylan will be 5 this year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down here and start typing. So I'm going to type Dylan in big letters and I'm going to change the font to a little sunshine um, and then I'm going to start typing and change the font size. I want the word Dylan bigger than anything else. So just type that. Change my font size down to about 40. And then before I carry on typing, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to drag this. And as you'll see, this number 5 goes grey. And that means that I'm typing to the path now. So if you watch, I'm trying to type away. So Dylan, a little monkey, loves Paw Patrol and Blaze and the Monster Machines. You'll see here, these have just overlapped a little bit. I'm going to go back to there and just space that a little bit just so it's a bit smoother. Back to the end, uh, loves Paw Patrol and Blaze and the Monster Machines. Got it again here. Uh, likes eating apples and donuts. Loves the minions. Um, likes to count. So all you've got to do here is just think of things that your kids love to do or things that describe your children. So I'm just doing things that describe my Dylan. Um, so I'll carry on. I like to just sing and dance. Super duper mummy huggles. Uh, splishing and splashing in the bath. monkey and there we have all the way around now you can if you're not happy with the font change it but beware that changing the fonts might mean that the size of your writing changes um, so you may have to adjust your text uh, with my initial one that I did that I posted on the page the Logan one um, the font I used was if I find it Arial rounded if I do that here, you'll see, you know, I've got to edit quite a bit of my text. So I'll do something like that. And then change the font size maybe to 30. Or to 25. And then go like that. 
but I'm going to stick with my original font which is a little sunshine now what I'm going to do here obviously you've still got the number five in the middle there to separate that you click on the writing and you make compound path and there you can separate your writing from the number five then what you can do is use your fill colors so you can go for black or red or what I did on the original one is use a fill gradient if you look down here there's the rainbow ones now really unless you're doing um, you're printing this out it doesn't really matter what color you color it in um, but my intention is to use this with rainbow glitter HTV so I'm going to do it like this so it kind of gives me an idea of what it's going to look like on the HTV and I'm quite happy with that so what I'm going to do then just leave it and there's my file and if you want to see what it'll um, look like because I'm going to put this on a black t-shirt just pop a box in there fill colour black right click centre back and there you have it get a better idea of what it'll look like so very very quick and easy um, it just gives you another thing to do and of course you can do the same thing with any sort of outline um, as long as you've made it a compound path uh, so if you've got say an outline of a dancer you could write around the outside um, about dancing if you've got um, the outline of a guitar you could write your favorite song lyrics around the outside you know the possibilities are endless um, and another thing is if you are doing text to path and you just want curved text you can I tend to do my curved text with this arc so again you just take your arc make it get your text uh, super Dylan and then drag and text to path and again so that you don't have this line there underneath just object make compound path take this delete and there you have your curve text okay so I hope this helped just a little um, brief lesson on what you can do with text to path have fun